welcome to Dirty Curdy Customs, where we do whatever we want to old cars. What is up to the six or seven of you that actually watch my videos? I got a friend that has a couple of bump side Fords that have been sitting out in the field for 25, maybe 30 years. And uh, I was dumb enough to purchase them without even looking at them. But don't worry, don't worry. Dirty Curdy has a plan for those old Fords. So let's hook up the trailer, go see what we got. Line me up. Stop, stop, stop. <gasps> ah, not the plug. What all do we need here? I think that's enough. Let's go. but I know they're really cheap. They've been sitting for a very long time. One is a, like a two-wheel drive, three-quarter ton camper special. The other is a four-wheel drive, like three-quarter ton or one ton, uh, with 390, and the cab's been pulled off of it because the cab was rusty. They were gonna cab swap it. So anyways, we're gonna go take a look. They are really, really cheap. I'm talking like a hundred bucks for both trucks. So we're gonna see how bad they are, see if he's got titles, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show you when we get there. Whoa. All right. So like I said, I'm not exactly sure what years these are. I believe 68 to 72. There's actually three of them. There's a flatbed right here. Somebody decided to break the window though. What do you think? Pull them up that way? This is the front of the truck. <laughs> yeah. So. I want to take this one first. Oh, the blue guy? Just because it's okay. lighter, I don't know how much weight I can haul. Okay. 390 camper special. No bed. And I know where the bed is for this one, but the inside actually isn't that bad. Let's see, it's got 76,000. No gas tank. Custom cab. Are the tires moving? Yeah. Or are they locked up? They're moving. Almost got it on the trailer, but we lost the steering. So we couldn't steer it on. And then the tractor got a flat. 
So we got to go air up the tire on the tractor. I think we were getting kind of close to falling off. We're going to push this bad boy over a little. Front tires are rolling. Back tires rolling too. gonna fall right off. So this motor, I'm not sure what it is, if it's a 302 or a 360 or a 390. I don't know. I can't see the markings on the valve cover on that plate, but we'll find out what it is. It's been sitting outside, uncovered, in the rain, snow, everything for probably 20 plus years. And we haven't tried to put a wrench on it yet, but I think it's probably no good. These bad boy mutters, oh yeah. <laughs> that one's like dual, bent in. Dually wheels. I don't know if this is a dually rear end, I think it is. It's 
truck was a custom built four wheel drive dually. Look at that. That's a super traction. Super traction. Gordo van. Super traction. Gordo. It's like a glove. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a, some kind of custom built Ford. It says F100. This truck has no title. We couldn't find the title. Don't know if it ever had one. I'll see if uh, Eli can tell the story, but the reason they pulled the cab off was because the roof was rusted out on this one. They were gonna take the blue and white cab put it on this truck because the blue and white truck is titled and the roof is still good. So they pulled the cab off, set it on the back, never ever got around to putting the other cab on it. So it sat out in the field for 20 years, no exhaust manifolds on it, in the rain, snow, sleet and snow, you know, it's, it's like the post office pretty much. Been in all the weather for like the last 20 years. We might use the other, the blue and white one, and do a Crown Vic swap. And this one, yeah, we might, we can get that motor to turn over and the transmission to work. Yeah, we'll just get her running, throw this cab back <laughs> on it because it's already got everything it needs. See if we can have ourselves a little off roader, find some dually wheels for it. It's got some four inch lift blocks, heavy duty <laughs> springs. Bad so uh, I was looking at this truck it's I think around the same year truck flatbed been wrecked but I'm not taking this one I don't think there's anything worth taking I kind of like these badges oh that's bolted on oh I found the bed for the blue and white truck but they won't let me have that either because it's their garbage trailer hauls this thing back and forth to the dump and it's full but look at that still in really good shape man i'd like to get this thing off of them man it's in it's in really good shape. Not all rotted. The floor might be starting to rot with all the hauling garbage for years, but yeah, that's where the bed for the truck is. Well, it's a good thing we noticed this, and we used this chain to haul that other truck. Good thing we didn't, and we were just gonna try to get it all unbound because it's bound up. Good thing we didn't use it, because it's a piece of junk. Almost done. Okay, so we got these trucks back. Um, I want to go through the blue 68. This is titled. And uh, see what kind of parts we got in it. So let's take a look. All right. So... This truck has no motor, but it's got a bunch of engine parts in it. So it looks like we have some marker light bezels. A couple of hood emblems. Let's see. Kind of sucks someone broke the windows out of these doors, but that other truck still has the windows in it, so headlight door hinge maybe speaker cover oh, what's this new vehicle warranty huh. truck had a warranty on it oh thing is crusty four district offices continued 
Hmm. Oh, let's see. Truck identification. Got the gauges. That's kind of cool. Might save that. Ooh, glove. Get this page. Pretty crispy. <clears throat> All right. Okay, I like the seat belts in these trucks. They're pretty cool. I got a. Hey, it's for a drive shaft. A little U bolt for a drive shaft. Another bolt. All right. Let's see. What we got. Hey, look at that. A pair of pliers. Might still be good if we oil them up. This, I don't know. It's like something from a baby thing. Some forward valve covers for most likely a 390. We got a door handle for not this truck. Another truck. Let's see, we got blinker cover, a little broken on the corner, not sure what that's to. Probably not this. Another speaker cover. Ooh, Jensen. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, heater vent cover, air cleaner. It goes to the, the heater box at the air cleaner. We got a starter. That's good. Looks pretty new on the inside. Hmm. Probably a starter. So I never got the story on what happened to the motor in this. But uh, I was told they were towing it with the drive shaft in it. And might have fried the transmission. It does still have a transmission. I'm not sure if it's like a C6 or what. I'll have to call into there and look. If any of you Ford guys know what that pan is. If that's like a C4 or C6 transmission. I'm guessing 390. It's got a C6. Maybe he's out there. Hey, look at that. That's in good shape. Little marker light cover. We got the R in Ford. Oh yeah. Is that missing up here? No, it's still has it. So maybe this is for the other truck. This hood is pretty rusted out. Yeah, it's pretty junky, but <clears throat> the other truck has a good hood, the F100 cab. Anyways, Hey, some more lettering. There's an F. There's the O. Now we just need the D. How the heck's your set? Ignition. Hey, that's nice to have. This one still has the ignition in it. Making our money back. Yeah, there we go. We got an intake. We got... Dipstick, spark plugs. Uh, we got a belt. We got a rear view mirror. Belt, we got a rag full of rat poop. Like that, oh, of course. Of course it's gonna start to rain right when I wanna do this. All right, some plugs. Some springs. There's the D. We found the D. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ford. So I am not a Ford guy, but these trucks were so cheap. I just couldn't pass it up. Couldn't pass up the deal. We got, what is that, a gas cap? Huh, weird. Ooh, altmeter. That might be the altmeter for the other truck. things are heavy. This thing's back. 
is heavy. I'm gonna have to set the camera down. Two barrel intake. So there was two, there was two other Ford motors sitting up in that barn. And they had no cranks in them. One of them had a four barrel intake and like a holly carb on it. And you could tell they'd been sitting for a long time. But so I don't know if one of those motors is out of this truck. Like I said, I really don't know much about Fords. So I don't know if one was a 390 or whatever. I want to look up the numbers on that other engine. See what that is. But I don't know if... How I'm going to finish what they did and what they started and try to cab swap it. Put this blue cab on that frame. I'm not sure. Depends on if I get it running or not. But I think I'd rather do like a Crown Vic swap with this, this cab. I mean, this thing's, it's a little rusty, but still got floor. The roof isn't completely gone yet i mean it's rusting like they normally do but i don't know what do we got more parts more i want new bolts let's look in the glove box oh no i don't know if i can get the glove box open yes she's froze up huh. well i'll have to try to get that open another time i'm gonna go over the other side i don't think there's anything else here on this side, look behind the seat, some more bolts. Oh, okay, there's cat the body mount bolts, I believe. Right here, oh, yeah, it's, this truck's solid, but I don't know. I mean, it's for what it is and how long it's been sitting, it's solid. Here we go. 1960 Ford. I don't know. That's kind of cool. Alright, we'll go to the other side. Man. It's, it's amazing how long this truck's been sitting and it survived out there without completely rusting out. I mean, the bottom of these doors aren't in the greatest shape, but... That other truck's got doors. All right, we got an alternator. We got, ooh, nastiness. Uh, another one of those handles. I don't know what that's for. It's obviously a door handle, but this truck has the door handles in here. So I don't know, these must be to another truck. If you know what uh, year these handles are for, comment down below. Alright, let's see. Hey, what's up? Okay. Some kind of spacer. Beauty ring for something. Yeah. Mm, another vent. Heater vent. Here we go. Ford steering wheel thing. This one's already got it. I mean, look at that. The dash in this truck is still beautiful. A little tiny crack right there, but... I don't know, and I don't know what kind of shape the seat's in. I don't even know if it's out of this truck. It looks like it might be out of a different truck, but... We got some really bad spark plugs, some more bolts. Anything else underneath? Probably a rat's nest right there. Let's pull the seat, get this clean. It's got some kind of battery shutoff right here or something. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so I think that's it for this. I'm assuming this is trailer brakes, old school trailer brakes. Fuel tank, had two tanks, which is stuck. Another toggle switch right here. Still got the ignition, no key. Wipers, choke, ignite, lighter, a oh, lighter. It's got a cigarette lighter in it. What's in that ashtray? Rat poop. Something dead in there, possibly. That's gross. That thing is full of rat poop. Oh, the heater. Switch is still somewhat work. A little froze up. But yeah, all in all, fire extinguisher mount. All oh, those speaker holes are. Yeah, that's just the speaker itself that's rusty. 
around the holes are a little crusty too but all in all I like this truck it needs to clean her up throw this alternator back in there anyways needs a windshield brand new mufflers on it still look at that thing had brand new exhaust on it but one thing I couldn't find was the exhaust manifolds for this one with the motor in it. So I'm going to go take a look. Oh, we can look under the hood of this if I can. Oh, no, I got it zip tied, but. Yeah, anyways, this, there's an alternator hanging down from when we unloaded it. It's still got transmission and torque converter. No exhaust manifolds. Power steering pump, it looks like. I don't know what else. Brake stuff. So yeah, if anybody knows what that transmission is, let me know. Yeah, exhaust manifolds are gone. Just something we need now. Yeah, that's the 68 titled truck. So now we'll go over here. We got some stuff set up. We are going to we're gonna pull the plugs from this motor i have not tried to turn it over yet it felt like the power steering pump would still rotate transfer case still shifts oh that moved a lot anyways yeah but transmission will not shift i am pulling on that thing it feels like it might try i don't know i've been spraying this thing down with some air coil some air curl for the last few days if you know what motor this is comment down below i'm hoping it's a 390 and then this thing has been sitting out in the weather as i said and i pulled this dipstick it uh, will not focus but it does not look good and it will not go back in there so I think the whole bottom of this motor got filled up with water. So we'll try to drain it, pull the oil pan off. See, this is not a good sign at all. But first, we'll pull these plugs out. I gotta clean around some of these plugs. Yeah, this thing was just sitting out in the open, out in the elements. It's got stuff all over it. I'm going to try to find some markings first, but that intake looks kind of like the other one, so. Okay, so I found the casting number. C7ME-A, which could be 1967 to 70, 390FE, medium block, 2-bolt main. Could also be a 1967 428 FE medium block two bolt main Cobra Jet Police, which I doubt it is. 67 to 70 428 FE medium block two bolt main. So my guess is this is probably just a 390. The only way we're going to be able to tell is to pull the valve covers off and we'd have to pull the heads off and do some measuring and stuff like that. We found the heads, C8. AE H, which were pretty much 360, 390, 428 passenger car, light truck, FE engine heads. Pretty much nothing special, but we know we at least have a 390 here, which is, I suspect that this, that's what this is. But we won't know until we tear into it some more. Be cool if it was a 428, but I highly doubt it. I don't see anything else on this engine that would tell me it is. I'd have to do a little more research too. But yeah, so anyways, I got a boroscope. We will, uh, first we'll pull these plugs out, look down the cylinders, see how they look, spray some stuff down there, mix up a concoction or something and get the cylinders lubing up and then we'll pull the uh, drain plug see how bad it is in there and then i'll start cleaning off the top of this engine and uh we'll pull the valve covers see what's under there um 
see if we can identify the motor a little better. Um, yeah, so... Okay, so pretty much as I expected, like five out of the eight cylinders were full of water. Rusty water in a couple of them. And I mean, I expected this. I, I didn't really get this truck expecting the motor to still be good. It's been sitting in the rain and snow for 20 plus years, maybe 25 years. I don't know. So anyways, we'll bore scope it. Just I blew, I took a air nozzle and tried to blow as much of the water out that I could. So I got a cheapy Hobo Freight uh, bore scope. We'll see if we can see anything in there. And then, yeah, and then we'll drain the oil. See how full of water the bottom end is. Okay, cylinder number, I don't even know what it is on the Ford. One. This one had water and oil in it. I don't know. Okay. Uh, second one down on the left side. Like I said, I don't know Ford's firing order, but I've heard they're weird. Uh, this one. Not looking good. Still full of water. Let me see if I can get it in there. Okay, yeah. Pretty nasty looking. This one was full of water. Pistons at the top. Alright, fourth one down, driver's side. Looking pretty bad. Pretty nasty. Not good, not good. Okay, first cylinder, passenger side, really bad with rust. And even if I could get this thing to turn over, I mean, the block, the heads could be cracked on this thing. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. From sitting and freezing and who knows. The only thing that could have saved it from freezing was maybe having oil in these cylinders. But yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, second cylinder, passenger side. That's the cylinder wall, it's pretty nasty. Pretty gross, but these first two cylinders were dry on this side. All right, we'll look at the next one. And next one had water in it. Uh, I don't know. All right, last cylinder, passenger side. Try to get this thing moving. It's not looking good. Not looking very good. So, not looking good. Let's drain the oil next. All right, let's see here. Hope I don't strip this thing. It'll come right out. Water. Whew. Straight up water. Wow. Well, hopefully there's enough room in my oil drain pan. Oh my gosh, it's overflowing. Oh. Holy cow. That's a lot of water. Okay, we gotta Slow it down. Oh, goodness. That's bad. Oh, just fill this thing up. I don't know. I'm gonna have to find a, oh. Okay, it's still going down. Whew. Well, might just be water. It's a little dirty. Hmm. No brakes on that side. You know what this front end is? Uh, 46F? 446F? Holy cow, that was crazy. Okay, let's pull it again. Oh, oh it's spraying it. Oh my goodness, it's so full. Gonna have to slow it down again. 
Stay. Oh, it's just overflowing my pan. I need to find a bucket. Found a bucket. Let's see if we can get it in there. Wow. Straight water. The sad thing is, this truck, before they pulled the cab off of it, ran and drove just fine. Now it's been sitting so long, it's garbage. It really sucks. We'll still see if it'll turn over. I don't know if we're even gonna pull the oil pan. It'd be cool to see what's in there, but it's pretty easy to pull too. I don't know, maybe. It looks like this thing had Taco Bell last night. Whew. Yep, been there. Oh my gosh, all right, I'm just gonna let this sludge come out. Oh my gosh, maybe dump something down. We'll pull a valve cover while we're waiting for this. All right, I blew the top of the engine off, literally picking weeds out of there. Still one up there. Let's see if we can get these off. Can use anything as a hammer. Oh, oh, she's bad. She's really bad. Oh, I'd say there's probably no way this thing will run in this shape. Holy cow. That's bad. Oh, she's bad. No way this thing will have oil pressure. Wow. You know what? We'll still try to clean it up. Pretty bad. Let's get that other one off. I'll pull the other one off. Get back to you. Okay. Got the other one unbolted. Loose. Oh, yeah. Pretty nasty. Whew. My goodness. That is bad. I bet you everything in this engine has froze up. Holy cow. Wow. Pretty bad. I'm gonna blow all that stuff out in a minute and I'm run that air coil. I'm gonna have to go grab some more, but we'll go, I'll take a look in this truck. Seat, pretty rough. Still got the gauges. I wonder what the miles said on this thing. Looks like we got, oh, I can't see, 35, what's that say, 35,275, got this cool CB, there was really no parts in here because there's no floor, but, oh, I'm here, also, this roof, when we were towing at home, almost blew off, <laughs> But yeah, uh, let's see, I was looking. Signed identification number. Oh, is that different than this? Oh. So maybe this did have a title. Oh, I'm gonna have to see about that. It does have the tank in it still. Which could be good. Hey, Chevrolet badge and a Ford, hmm, weird. This tank could possibly still be good, I don't know. It's got a radio that we could put in that other one. Nothing in the glove box. Can't even open the ashtray. I don't know, it's a parts truck. It was, it's obviously a four speed. Whoa, check this out. We got some ultralight cigarettes. Anything under here, nothing except for the floor pan. Take a look under the hood. No door panels. Oh, you know what? Okay, this does have the same handles. And this truck, surprisingly, the windows still work. Which is crazy. F100. Up under here, we got, I still got a few things. Couldn't find exhaust though. I tried to oil these hinges. Anyways, this hood, it's dented up, but it's not as rusty as the other one. Hey, we, need, we got one of those. 
So it kind of sucks it's dented up, but. And these doors aren't as bad as the other truck. You know, a little bit of rust. But not as bad as the other ones. So we might use these doors. We'll definitely use the windows. It's got a different style steering wheel in it. Weird. Anyways, yeah, look at that roof. It's, it's all caved in. Terrible. Whew. All right. Okay, so I found this. Assigned identification number. And when I was looking, he had a title that said 72 Ford. I'm looking at this number right here saying, okay, it doesn't match up. Well, I'm guessing that they assigned it a different title. So I just called him. He's going to go take a look. He wrote the number down. He's going to go see if uh, this thing does have a title, which would be cool. You know, because then I could have two trucks with titles. This cab will be titled, even though this cab's pretty much junk. When we strapped it down right here, it literally was pulling the bond off. Someone just bondoed over rust holes, so it's it's pretty, but this one's pretty bad, but I don't know. The doors aren't really bonded up, I don't think. Yeah, anyways, he's gonna go check, see if we got a title. Could have a title for this bad boy. Okay, so I think I've got all the bolts out of this oil pan. Oh my gosh, this thing was a oil leaker. Maybe I don't. Okay. She's coming. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh. Oh, that is nasty. That is nasty. See if I can get, let me get this dropped out and I'll show you guys what's going on under here. Oh, that's gross. Oh, kind of hard to see. Let me get, see if I can get some light. Wow. That is gross. Oh, look at this pan. Oh, that's bad. Oh. oh my gosh. Look at that sludge in the bottom of there. That's disgusting. So now I pulled transmission cover off and we found Mouse House. Yuck. Oh. Yummy. Might have some friends. Let's corpse stuck in there but anyways there's flywheel clutch can't see much I'll try to dig that out a little oh it stinks yuck alright so now I'm gonna pull this drain plug on the transmission see how bad it is don't overfill my bucket please and wow, nothing. Huh. Rusty water. That's about it. Where's the gear oil? Had none in it. Let me see if I can stick a screwdriver in there. side of this thing is probably just junk oh wow that is looks like it's been in the under the ocean that's pretty bad oh man we need to get something in there soaking it out in it and that's why it's locked up okay after dropping a screwdriver in the bucket i 
think oh, she's going to come out. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, that thing is nasty. Whew. Okay, let's see if I can get this to focus in there. Oh, she's crusty. Let's see, do I have any light here? Probably not. Oh, man. Pretty bad. I'm going to dump some oil in it. All right, so I dumped some oil in it. I made a little concoction for the cylinders of some CLR penetrating oil stuff like that so I got those soaking and I dumped some oil down here let this soak thing had absolutely no oil in it probably all washed out with the water anyways it's coming out clean now but it looks pretty bad in there I'm gonna set this shifter back in there let that soak in some oil Try to get that broke free. Try to get this motor broke free. I don't know if I'm going to have enough stuff to get this running. Try to get some uh, plugs and... Gosh, I don't know if this distributor will even work. And I don't have another one, but... I don't know. We'll see. If I can get it to turn over, we'll see. It's going to be pretty hard. I've tried uh, a wrench on the front. And a pry bar on the flywheel and she's stuck stuck so i'm gonna let it soak overnight let everything soak i noticed this thing has cool pto coming out of it with this shaft runs all the way up to the front and it looks like it came through this homemade frame they got or what, I don't know if this is factory or aftermarket or if it was a kit you could buy back in the day it's bolted on with some cool brackets, but anyways, somebody cut out whatever this PTO was hooked to. It must have had a winch on the front. So that's kind of a bummer, and the leaf springs are bolted to that, so if we did get this thing to even move, we would definitely have to reinforce this frame. But anyways, I'm going to let it soak for the night. Oh, that's why it went bad. Frame. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, we'll let it soak and sit and do its thing. And uh, yeah, see if we can get this thing to start moving. Okay, well today we're back on the 72 Ford that we pulled out of the field. And uh, you know, it's still in pretty good shape. But uh, anyways, I let that motor soak for like two weeks no luck getting it turned over I've tried prying on the flywheel tried prying and using a breaker bar on the crank bolt the only thing I haven't done is like build a plate to put on the the front pulley the harmonic balancer and I mean this thing looks like it's been down in the ocean with the Titanic so I don't think we're gonna get it to roll over but what we are doing we just pulled the front clip off. Oh, all right. There we go. It's still like brand new, you know? Just no low balls. I, I know what I got here, all right? And we are going to try to spin this cab around or lift it up and at least put it on the right way, put everything back on, you know, make it a parts truck that I can probably sell. So we're going to get to that today. And, uh, oh, I got my boy Peel off here. He's going to be helping me. I think right now we don't have anything left to disconnect. We're just going to try to rotate it. Righty? Yeah.
except it's not. <laughs> it looks almost like how a truck should be. Almost. <laughs> yeah, this uh, body mount is uh, a little gone. And you guys have seen the floors gone. But hey, the cab's on the right side now. Look at that. This thing must have been a long bed. Long bed dually. All right, you guys didn't think I was gonna end this video without some excitement, did you? Here we go. So I bought this old Crown Vic for that 68 Ford F-250 camper special. We're gonna do a cab swap on it, but first, we gotta go see how much my $800 Crown Vic can do. Let's get it. that's gonna do it for this video um, we did everything we could on the 72 uh, I'm not sure what to do with that truck um, if you guys want to see me work on that more maybe find another motor and transmission for it um, comment down below we're gonna be cutting the floor out of this truck so we possibly could take the floor from this truck put it in that truck and also that other truck that's up in my buddy's field, we could go cut the top off of it and use for that truck too. So if you guys want to see me work on that truck some more, put it in the comments below. Um, yeah, the next time you see this and this, we'll be cutting the Crown Vic up, preparing it for the F-250 cab. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.